Hello, today we will learn how we can find the correlation coefficient using calculator FX82MS. I have prepared a separate video for correlation and regression wherein I have taught the various methods. In that video, I have taught the examples step by step. So here again in this video, I am not going to teach that. Here, I'll completely focus on what all things you can find using the calculator for the examples on correlation. So let's just get started. My first example is calculate the correlation coefficient between x and y. Here the values of x and y are given to us. Now what we do as our next step, we create a table which I have already taught you in my detailed video. If you have not seen that, then please watch that video first and then you can watch this. Here in the table, we write x, y, then we find x square, y square and x, y. Now let me just show you what all things you will be able to find using the calculator. Our first step will be to input the x and y values to the calculator x and y values like the first value here we can see which is 218 then we have 412 510 68 87 and 11 5 this we need to input in the calculator for that we'll press mode and here you can see this regression which is you'll press 3 then we'll click on 1. Then I'll input the values like this. First value is 2, 18. Then press M plus. Don't press any other key. Then the second value is 4, 12. So we'll write it 4, 12 and press M plus. Then we have the third value which is 5, 10 and M plus. Then 6, 8 m plus next is 8 comma 7 m plus next we have 11 comma 5 and m plus we have given all the six values as input to the calculator now you'll press ac after this we'll click on shift then press 1 here you'll find all of these sigma x square sigma x let's just find sigma x for that i'll press 2 and then equal to so here you can see you'll be able to compare your answers and find whether your answer is correct or not again shift 1 the next button and press 2 equal to so it is coming as 60 then shift 1 and we'll find sigma x square so again press 1 and equal to so we get it as 266 then shift 1 next again press 1 we'll get sigma y square which is 706 then for sigma xy shift 1 the next button then press 3 and equal to so it is coming as 293. So even if you have made mistake in calculations, then also your final answer will be correct. As you will be able to confirm all the answers using the calculator. Now we know the formula of R. You will find it using the formula and also you will be able to confirm it using the Kelsey. For that, you will press shift, then 2, then next, again next, and here you can find R, which is at 3, so press 3 and equal to. Now you can see this, we are getting the answer as minus 0.9203, which is the exact correct answer. Only you will need to fix your Kelsey to 4. Now let's see another example. We need to find the rank correlation coefficient. The detailed video 
I have already given in the description. Here, let's see what we can find using the calculator. Again, same process. Shift, 3, 1. Then our Kelsey is set on regression mode. Here, one thing you need to keep in mind is, we'll not input these values. The values given to us are 8, 84, 36, 51 and so on. But these values we are not going to input in the calculator. The next step is, we find x, y and rank in x and rank in y. In our table, we find these values of rank in x and rank in y. So here, we'll input rank in x and rank in y as our x and y values. That is my first value will be 10, 3. Then press M plus. Next will be 7, 8. Press M plus. Then 1, 1. M plus. 9, 6. M plus. 4, 4. M plus. 3, 5. M plus. 2, 2 m plus 6 comma 7 m plus 5 comma 10 m plus 8 comma 9 m plus make sure that you don't press any other key now press ac then shift and 2 next next so here we'll be able to find the value of r press 3 and equal to we get it as 0.4545 here we are having the value in three decimals. So we can fix the Kelsey, press mode, three times, then press one and set it to three. So we get it as 0.455. This is how you can find the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient using the calculator. But the only thing that you need to keep in mind is Please don't input the values of x and y given in this table. Make sure that you input the values of rank in x and rank in y. Then only you will get the correct answer. The next example that I'll take is on tied ranks. Again, it is rank correlation coefficient, but this is the example of tied ranks. How we can come to know that it is the example of tied ranks because you can see here we have two values repeated then in y we have three values repeated which means it is tied ranks example. We'll not go in details of how we can solve this example but I'll just teach you how we can find the value of r using the calculator. Same process you'll not input the values of x and y you'll find the rank x rank y Again, you need to set the calcium regression mode. Then we'll input all of these values given in the table. 1, 1, M plus, 2, 2, M plus, then 4.5, 4, M plus, then 4.5, 4, M plus, 3, 6, M plus, and 6, 4, M plus. Press AC. Then shift, 2, next, next, press 3 and equal to. Here one thing I'll tell you that for tied rings example, you get the R value correct up to one decimal place only. So even if it is asked to you for four decimal places or up to three decimal places, you will only be able to confirm the value for one decimal place. That is, if you're getting the answer of RS 0.5429, then your Kelsey will be accurate up to 0.5. That is one decimal place. This is only for tied ranks example. Other than tied ranks example, you get the accurate answers. This way, you can find the correlation coefficient using calculator. FX82MS. Thank you.